several hundred workers from the troubled shipyard in Gdansk, Poland, arrived in Brussels on Friday to demonstrate at the European Commission. They fear that the Commission wants to close down the historic yard. The yard is well known as the site where Polish workers started their revolt against the communist regime in the 1980s. Europe's Competition Commissioner Nelly Cruz told the workers that the Commission has no intention, however, of closing the yard. It only wants to make sure that it's slimmed down so that it can have a viable future. Don't be afraid that we want to close the shipyard. That's not the case. Cruz said that the EU wants to make sure that the Gdansk yard can operate under normal market conditions. That means without government subsidies. The Polish government is at loggerheads with the Commission over the yard. If it were to follow up on the request from Brussels, there would only be one slipway left, instead of three at the moment. We are in close contact with the Polish government, and we both, as well the Polish government, as well the European Commission, is highly interested in a viable shipyard in Gdansk. For only a viable shipyard can assure people to have jobs in the near future that are indeed not only paid by state money, but are indeed paid by the profit the yard is making. And we are looking forward to such a viable shipyard in Gdansk. The Commission, which is the executive body of the European Union, has warned the Polish government it may have to recover aid given to the yard, unless the country provides an assurance that there will be an adequate cut in the yard's production capacity. One option currently being discussed in Brussels and Warsaw is to turn part of the Gdansk yard into a demolition site for oil tankers and navy vessels that have been taken out of service.